Hi guys and welcome to this week's video. So this week um, I'm going to try my hand at some wall art. Um, we've got a big blank space here in our kitchen and what I want to try and do is put something on the wall just to kind of fill the space and also kind of a bit, bit of an art installation. So I've been looking online and I've found some different ideas and things like that and one of the things I quite liked is um, <clears throat> some birds sort of flying. Now here where we are in France at the sort of end of the summer and at the beginning of the summer, uh, we get a whole load of cranes flying over us and um, they make a lot of noise and they look beautiful and we love seeing them because it kind of tells us that summer is about to start and then unfortunately that uh, winter is about to start. But we love seeing them and I'd like to try and do something with cranes on our wall. So I've had a look online and I've found a sort of an outline of a crane flying or a couple of cranes flying. And what I've done is I've just put it into, put it on my computer and just tried to print it over several pages and just expand the drawing. Um, this saves me having to kind of draw it from sort of free hand um, and it, give, it will hopefully give me something to try and um, kind of draw around and give me a template. Because obviously the printer doesn't print right to the edge of the paper, I've had to cut out all of the edges around in order to kind of be able to stick it together so that I can get an actual outline of a crane. And I've got two designs that I've done so far um, and so I've got two that I've expanded and I've one of them that is the same or the third one is the same shape but I've just made it slightly smaller so that it will hopefully look um, slightly different and it'll give you the kind of perspectives of cranes flying. So that's what I've done so far. So don't worry if the edges are a bit blurred. Uh, when I sort of cut around it I kind of used a bit of artistic license just to cut around it and make sure I added in the curves and make sure I kind of made the uh, the bird look better. The idea of blowing it up was just to give me a template and also to get sort of the proportions right rather than kind of drawing it freehand. So I've laid all the pieces on the floor and stuck them together um, after cutting the edges and then I can cut around that as well just to give the finished product of the bird on paper. So I've done the same process for uh, my three birds, two of which are the same design, then one's obviously a slightly different design. And uh, I've um, cut one of the middle parts out, but not on the other ones, because I want to see what it looks like on the wall. Um, and then I'm going to decide whether to cut the bits out in the middle or to sort of leave them as a whole sort of solid bird. Um, so these paper templates, well, these te paper templates now work as two things. Um, as a template for me to sort of draw around on the actual wood. But also what I'm going to try and do is I'm just going to put them up on the wall behind me um, and just see what they look like and also kind of position them to where I want to go um, to see which sort of positioning looks best. And then once I've done that, I can just put some markers on. So when I come to hanging them back up, I know exactly where I'm putting them and it's a bit easier to do with, with paper and blue tack than it is to do with wood. I've gone to um, our local Brico Marche and I've got them to cut some PDF for me in sort of squares um, for the sizes that I need for the three birds. And we've got the four bits of MDF. Now we're using MDF rather than ply just because when we come to cut them out with a jigsaw, I'm hoping that the MDF will give me a better edging than the ply will would because sometimes when I use the ply it can be quite um, it can give me a raw, you know, quite a rough edge around. So I, I kind of using MDF to give that a go. I'm going to stick uh, the paper template onto it and then just draw around it. Um, and I'm going to do that for the three birds. And I've also decided as well that we're going to cut the rest of the other two birds out because we quite like them as more silhouettes with sort of being able to see the wall through them. So rather than a, a solid bird, we are going to keep the sort of open bits in them. So uh, I better get going and drawing around the, the templates onto the wood. So there we are, I've now drawn around all of the three shapes and so the next thing is I'm outside here and I'm ready to start cutting. So 
So there we are, I've cut out all three birds and I've given them one coat of uh, paint. I've just used a, a gold spray paint um, and it's a new day and I'm ready to put my second coat of paint on. Um, and then I've got to try and work out how I'm going to fix these to the wall. So let's get going with uh, spraying the second coat. So I'm now in the man cave and what I need to try and figure out is how I'm going to attach these birds to the wall. Now ideally what I want to do, I've got a bit of an off cut MDF here, but what I want to do is obviously attach them as closely as possible to the actual wall. Um, but at the same time what I don't want to do is put a screw, or the easiest one is just to be able to screw it straight to the wall. Or I could stick it to the wall, um, but obviously if I screw it, I'm going to be able to see the screw. If I stick it, it means I won't be able to move them. And if I do pull them off, uh, I'm sticking to the plasterboard. I don't know whether I'm going to rip the plasterboard and all of that. So I don't want to do any of that. So I've been looking at different fittings. Now, one of the options was to have this sort of circular screw uh, that I could screw into the MDF and then sort of use that as a way of hanging it. But you'd still see the screw and you'd still see um, the actual fitting as well itself. So kind of sort of put that to one side. Um, the next thing I did is I had these other sort of L-shaped fittings. And I was wondering whether I could kind of put them so that they would hold the MDF up. And because the fittings are quite small, you wouldn't be able to see them that much. But again, I'd have to put several of them into the wall. How well they would actually hold the birds, I don't really know. And again, you can kind of probably still see the fitting. So that wasn't um, an option either. What I managed to do in the end is I managed to find a sort of like bracket for photo frames and things like that that's quite flat. And I thought, well, if I screw that in, hopefully I can just put a screw in the wall and then hang it up. Yes, it will be away from the wall slightly, but I'm hoping because the birds are quite high in the room, you're not going to notice so much. But hopefully it will still be close enough to the wall that will have the effect that I want. So that's what I've gone with and uh, let's hope it works. So I've got my bird here and what I did is I've sort of, I wanted it to kind of be level, but also sort of pointing up. So I just held the bird in certain areas until I found the perfect point where it kind of actually held level. And it was at that point that I then put the bracket on the back so that when it's hanging up on the wall, hopefully it should hang straight. But because it's a bit of a line, I have actually got some room to move it along the line to kind of tilt it up or down as I want. But as you can see, the fittings hit it, hidden behind the bird, I can have the screw there in the wall and it will be completely sealed, but won't be able to see it. And it'll just look like it's floating on the wall. So next step, let's get the screws in the wall and get these birds up. There we are, I've put them up on the wall and they look perfect. They were probably still not quite dry yet, so I'll let them dry for a bit. And if needs be, I'll put a third coat on. But I'm really happy with the overall effect. Yeah, I mean, that saved us a lot of money and we've got some great wall art. So I'm happy with that. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. And don't forget to subscribe so that you can be notified of future videos. And I'll see you next time. Cheers, guys. Bye.